Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. How you can avoid an astronomically high, ridiculous emergency room bill in the United States. It is so interesting because I talk to a lot of doctors whose first experience personally of the healthcare system is when they visit an emergency room. And I've heard so many stories where doctors will tell me, my goodness, I got the bill afterwards and I could not believe how outrageous the fees were. This is totally unjustifiable. And these are doctors with insurance and whether insurance pays for it or not, when you actually look at what you are being billed for and the costs, it is shocking. That is why when I argue with people online, as I frequently do, as you might imagine, a lot of my videos, a lot of my social media posts generate some angry, unhinged replies. And when I'm saying that I think the medical system is a complete and utter scam, and people are arguing with me on this point, I say, have you actually received a hospital bill before, especially an emergency room bill, and seen how much it costs? Because it is eye-popping. It's stunning. How could anybody reasonably look at a bill and tell me that the healthcare system is anything but a scam? So how can you avoid an astronomical emergency room bill? Well, the best way is to try to avoid going to the emergency room for anything but a true emergency where you may be admitted to the hospital because you have something very serious wrong with you. But I want to go over in this video five specific ways in particular. Number one, use telemedicine or urgent care, which are usually not always, but most of the time significantly cheaper than visiting an emergency room. If something is not a true emergency in that you have to go straight to a hospital ER, try telemedicine or urgent care first. Again, it doesn't always work out cheaper, but typically it will be for anything that is a semi-emergency, but not a true emergency. It's so interesting because both in the United States and United Kingdom, it's almost impossible these days to get an appointment with your doctor on the same day, but a telemedicine appointment or an urgent care appointment might be a good next step where you can get some advice and hopefully avoid going to the hospital. Number two, truly understand your health insurance and what happens during an emergency. You are paying for your health insurance, so you owe it to yourself to know these details. Understand what is in network, what is not in network, understand your co-payments, understand your deductibles, so you are not hit with a surprise. I hear a lot of stories actually about emergency room doctor groups who are not in network, so you're very likely to be faced with a big bill if you go and see them, but at least you should familiarize yourself with your insurance so you know what to expect if an emergency happens, either to you or a family member. Number three, speak to your doctor when you're in the emergency room. This is a difficult one. A lot of people, when they think they're facing an emergency, might not want to do this or they might feel intimidated, but you totally should. I mean, I definitely would. I would question everything. Of course I would, because I know the truth that overtesting is absolutely rampant in emergency rooms across the United States. Do you really need that additional blood test? Do you really need that scan, that MRI scan? Ask all of these questions. And even when you're prescribed a medication, is your doctor mindlessly prescribing you an expensive med when there is a cheaper generic alternative? Make it clear to your doctor that you are thinking about costs and you would prefer a cheaper alternative if available. I mean, who wouldn't? Even if you have tons of money, why would you want to fritter it away unnecessarily? Number four, ask for an itemized bill. You can totally do this. Itemize every single thing that is being charged to you. Be clear about all of the charges. Was anything an error? Was anything inappropriate? Don't let them bulk bill you. Most of the time, this is done, but you should make sure that the bill is fully itemized line by line. That is your right and you are the one or your insurance is going to pay for it. So you should know what they are charging you for. Often mistakes are made. Don't let a mistake be made with your bill. Number five, negotiate bills and seek financial assistance. Many people who could do this don't do this, but do not assume that your bill is final. Work with your hospital. 
If cost is a problem for you, which it often is with outrageous bills for most people out there, then speak to the hospital department directly, the financial department. Can they work out a plan for you? Can you apply for hardship? Many hospitals offer financial assistance programs and even sliding scales based on income. Not every hospital does this, but it is worth asking. If you don't ask, you don't get. So those are some things then that I would like you to remember. If you ever need to visit an emergency room or a family member does, don't be caught off guard and don't be surprised with the bill afterwards. Most people actually will be surprised with a bill no matter what. We do a lot of things right in the United States in healthcare. We do a lot of things very wrong as well, which I talk about a lot. One of the things I think we do right is emergency care management in terms of how we acutely fix conditions. I think we are very good at that as a doctor myself. When I work in the hospital, I work in acute care hospital medicine where we try to fix any conditions that have put people in hospital as quickly as possible. And I think the United States is a true world leader in trying to fix emergent conditions quickly. There are few countries that I would rather be in, but that does come at an outrageous cost. Now I do hear a lot of stories as well about really bad hospital bills, but I must say the most stories I hear are from people who visit emergency rooms and are absolutely shocked with the bills afterwards. And ultimately nothing can beat the advice to try to stay as healthy as possible. So hopefully you don't need an emergency room visit, but of course life is very unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen and what may put you or a family member into a hospital emergency room but nobody out there should be surprised when they get an outrageous bill afterwards just know your rights and what your options are thanks everyone for watching feel free to comment down below let me know your stories of terrible emergency room bills i expect i may hear a lot of stories down below it's an awful situation check out my website and my free downloads those links are down below hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future we will speak again very soon.